Hi everyone, welcome to Snippets and Scraps. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. I'm so happy that you are here. So today I thought that I will take you through uh, my planners and journals that I have used in the first quarter of this year. Today is 1st of April when I'm filming this and it's raining outside. So if you can hear the rain over me, then I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in seeing what all I used in the first quarter of this year, then please keep on watching. So let's go through these one by one, starting with my planner. I am currently using a Hobonichi Weeks Mega in um, Sunshine Yellow. This is my everyday planner, everything in one. Uh, this is the only planner that I'm using this year, apart from one small thing, which is my monthly insert uh, if i'm not carrying this around then i have this and this also has all the same appointments mentioned which is why i have this this is actually a repeat um, i mean the monthly appointments but i sometimes cannot carry this uh, a bigger planner with me which is when i carry the smaller one but apart from that this is actually the main one uh, and i have been able to find ways to make this Hobonichi Weeks work for me. I have moved into Hobonichi Weeks from an A6 strategy where I had uh, unlimited number of pages to do my daily logs and everything. Here I have to make sure that this lasts till the end of the year which is why sometimes I am a little scared to use up space but I've decided that I should stop worrying after the first quarter is over i have realized that i think this will be sufficient and even if it's not i'll buy a booklet that comes in the hobonichi week size also buy uh, um Bonichi, so I'll buy one of those but I will use it without thinking twice about space and I'm glad that it's working out for me next uh, let's move on to this one because I already showed you this here I have my notes insert my monthly calendar like I just said when I'm out and about and then I have my sticker release paper that I've used on and off whenever I find some random stickers on the go I stick them there so this is my EDC if uh, I'm not carrying my Hobonichi weeks that's when I carry this sometimes I carry both um, yeah then I have my two uh, five-year journals. This one is for my son. I write one line a day every day for him, mainly capturing his milestones. And, you know, um, sometimes I also write my own thoughts and what I have been feeling rather than telling him what he did that day. But either way, this is written for him so that he can read it one day if he wants to. So, yeah, I've been pretty consistent with this one. Then I have my Hobonichi Weeks 5 year. This one is from um, 22 to 26. This is my second year. And uh, I have been sort of consistent in this one, I, which means that I do not write in it every day. I do this maybe once a week. I go back and look at my planner and write uh, and fill this one in. As you can see, this cover is pretty dirty. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll. Um, I don't know what happened this has been especially last year i used to throw this around so yeah i am pretty sad what happened to this cover it looks dirty there are stains but i'm hoping over time it will <laughs> darken evenly but back to the actual journal so like i said i don't write in it every day but i write in it once a week but i do make sure that this is up to date then I have my um, A6 Day Free. This is my journal, my creative journal. I do a sticker a day in my monthly pages. And here I just write about random events. There is no rhyme or rule to it. Um, I just write whenever I want to and add whatever ephemera I want to, which is why I actually chose the Day Free instead of the Techo. And um, I feel like there are more things that I want to write about in this one but I don't have the time however um, it's fine because it's a day free and I already have my five-year journal my planner where I'm capturing memories as well so I'm not too uh, fussy about how updated or not updated this one is this cover is by the way from um, hand stitched leather tea uh, this dent is because of a charm that I used however I still love this cover and I'm still obsessed with it I love this leather 
And lastly, I have this. Here I have three inserts. The first one is a monthly insert. I do show this once in a while in my channel here. Um, I used to do like a highlight of the month. And in March, I did more like a gratitude. Then I fell off. But I think I will go back and fill this in and make sure that in April I am more consistent with it but yeah I will of course decorate the page after the month is over so that I know what space I have so I'll keep using this even if I'm not consistent and then I have my vertical weekly dated which I like to do my creative journaling in and then finally this is my weekly memory keeping that I do on camera um, and you must have seen some videos as well so and then I have a pencil board back here so that's about it that's all I have been using and I'm happy to report that mostly things have been working out for me and I don't intend to change anything immediately um, so yeah that's it oh and I do have this passport insert that I will talk about separately this is where I'm writing down quotes and also have started a new uh, insert but this actually I'm not including in this video because I did not use it in first in the first quarter I only just started using it so it doesn't really fit in this video uh, maybe in the second quarter roundup I will talk about it if I end up using it that is and um, yeah so that's about it do let me know um, what you think and any comments on my lineup and what you think about it um, and what you are using so yeah I'll see you in the comment section and do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one bye